guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of season 2 of Zombieland Saga. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, is this just like a whole recap episode? <laughs> Weeks after, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, woo. Let's hope so. Oh. Oh. Exactly. Don't count yourselves out. I mean, damn.
Yeah, I think you guys can do this. It's it, yeah, it's a lot of pressure on you, but I think you guys can be able to get this done. And you just have to be just as serious as him. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Oh. Junko. Well, which won't be a lot, we know that. Because then after this, we all know that they're probably going to be in debt again. Not a lot of people. babies mm -mm. like damn in a way this should have been the first episode like I, I love the way of the first episode that we got but like ooh
Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, because all them tickets that you didn't sell. Yeah, but you need money, though. That dude is too damn drunk to think of a new plan. He He's, like, out of commission right now. You guys got to think of an idea. Oh my god. Yeah, he's not dead. He's just drunk. But we don't know if this is going to work again. 
But I don't want you guys to be in debt again for the second fucking time. You tell so.
I think he'll be fine. <laughs> Holy shit, that is just like a hurricane in Florida. Okay, so now I can kind of see why this episode had to be out today. For the first half, like, okay, that still could have been a first episode, but like, oh, oh my god, this is too much. And we only probably got, like, what, two more weeks left with this show, or three? I don't really remember, but, oh, god, I'm scared. Like, anything else could happen in the majority of these three. Thank god that the power went out at the right time, just as he was about to send it off. Like, woo, god. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. Oh, God. Because, I, I, you know, I think once, if everybody does find out about them, I think there might be some people who will be like, well, you know what? I don't care if y'all are zombies. You know, I accept you just the way that you are. But some people might feel a certain type of way at the same time. But like, okay, yeah, they're zombies and ish and no. I do like the fact that we got the the things about when this second season started answered in this episode yes it would have been nice if we got to see that in the first episode but i understand the reason now why they were like oh we're gonna wait until we get to the closest closest to the end of the series almost and then finally explain it because of course i think a lot of us when we watched that first episode had a lot of questions and wondering what the heck was happening because the only thing we knew is that they were in 20 million in debt and now that we know what the fuck happened, like, mm. Just also to see. <laughs> to see Junk Katana again. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Once again, like, <laughs> I can't. Like, oh my god. I just, I hope that they've done so well from episode two up to now and promoting themselves once again and coming back from the bottom up to where they are but the scariest thing is is that stage especially for I and you know looking at that stage and having seeing how many fans she had when she was in her previous idol group versus now of course it's going to be a little traumatizing it's she's very God, she's giving me a lot of, like, Mio vibes from Idol Master Cinderella Girls when um, Mio, Uzuki, and Ron had their very first um, performance in, in ish for their live and everything. And so Mio was um, doing the group with, like, not the group. She was doing a live with Uzuki, Ron, and, um, and herself, and Mika. But it was Mika's show, and, well, no, it wasn't only Mika's show. It was, like, a couple other big, big idol shows, but they were performing with Mika. And um, when they got the chance to do their show, she had asked her producer, like, oh, hey, can I invite my friends, and da-da-da, this is that, and the third, because she was expecting a lot of people to show up. And by the end of the episode of their um, performance, there was not a lot of people there. there. Her friends were there, but it was in like a little um, little mall and such. Of course, like, you know, when you're starting from somewhere, you have to start at the bottom. So you're not going to get as much people um, to come to a first live than versus someone like Mika or any other idol before them. And so, of course, it really took a toll on her for the entirety of like season one kind of going on to season two of the show 
and such. And that's what it feels like with I because of the fact that she's like comparing her first group to her new group and the fact that her newest group doesn't have that big of a fan base as her first of course she's going to be a lot of traumatized you could tell everybody in the group at that moment was like really traumatized about what in the world happened and the fact is that all this big ass stadium and it's just like this much that little like teeny tiny little living space uh for them and so of course it's gonna make anyone triggered and traumatized and everything about it and it's like okay you want us to do this again like who knows what the hell is gonna happen next like dead ass like with with the majority episodes that we have left like once again anything could happen this could be the best thing for to, for them to do or it could be the worst thing for them once again and they'll be a debt for the second time and i don't think any of us really want that but we ain't gonna know until we get closer and closer to the end of the series but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of zombieland saga season 2 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday for episode 11 bye guys